Dubs gets manipulated into an elaborate death trap on today's Miami Vice. The Afternoon Plane was written and directed by David Jackson, and it brings the Calderon saga that kicked off in the pilot episode to a dramatic close. Crackett and Tubbs attend a wedding, along with Tubbs' steady girlfriend Alicia. Alicia is played by model Maria McDonald, who played Tubbs' murderous love interest way back in Season 1's The Great McCarthy. Tubbs and Alicia are excited about their upcoming all-expenses-paid tropical vacation, which Tubbs won in a very fishy raffle. Some kid came up to him on the street and begged him to buy a ticket. I'd say Tubbs is a little naive to accept this raffle raffle at face value, though to be fair, when some little kid sells you a raffle ticket, you don't expect it to be an elaborate ruse by your arch nemesis to lure you to a deserted island for the express purposes of slaughtering you. After the wedding, Crockett will disappear for the rest of the episode, and nobody else from Vice will make any appearance at all, so this episode is pretty much all Philip Michael Thomas all the time. Tubbs and Alicia arrive on the island where they're met by a dude named Wolf who is a convicted murderer that Tubbs put away in jail. Wolf insists he received a pardon and is just there to enjoy a nice tropical vacation. Wolf is played by Vincent D'Onofrio, who rose to prominence in the late 80s for his role in Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket and has worked steadily ever since. He starred in Law & Order Criminal Intent, and recently he played Wilson Fisk on Daredevil. While Laws Neto's One Kiss Away plays, Tubbs and Alicia ride horses and cuddle and sex each other up and, in general, have a fine old time, which is ruined when Tubbs spots the kid who sold him the raffle ticket. He overhears the kid tell the hotel clerk that someone named Xavier Calderon has arrived on the island. Tubbs has a finely tuned sensitivity to the name Calderon, and under pressure, the hotel desk clerk admits that Xavier is the cousin to Orlando Calderon, Tubbs' arch nemesis, who will be arriving on the island by the afternoon plane. The last time Tubbs saw Orlando Calderon, of course, was in season two's Sons and Lovers, in which Calderon murdered his own half-sister Angelina, Tubbs' girlfriend and the mother of his son, to get revenge on Tubbs for the death of his own father, who had murdered Tubbs' his brother back in season one. Tubbs realizes the entire raffle was a setup orchestrated by Orlando to trap Tubbs on the island and exact further revenge. There are no phones or radios on the island, and the entire island is controlled by Calderon. Calderon's father's drug money kept the island affluent, and the island has slipped back into poverty since Crockett shot him back in season one, so all the island residents are hoping Orlando kills Tubbs. Because no one is willing to help Tubbs charter a boat, Tubbs and Alicia are trapped. The police chief leaves the island, leaving a young officer named Ruben Oliva, played by John Varia, in charge. While looking for a gun, Tubbs runs into an ex-girlfriend from New York, Sally Cordoba, played by Margaret Avery, Oscar-nominated for her role in The Color Purple. Sally, who is Oliva's girlfriend, is also trying to get off the island before Calderon arrives. In a fit of machismo, Oliva decides to take out Calderon himself. He confronts Wolf and Calderon's cousin, and they kill him. The plane arrives, and Orlando Calderon, played once more by John Leguizamo, starts hunting down Tubbs. Sally boards the plane for its return flight. Alicia considers leaving as well, but decides to stick with Tubbs as he tries to take down Calderon. Calderon and his goons hunt Tubbs around the island. Tubbs takes out Calderon's cousin. Alicia, who is a good egg, grabs a gun and ammo clip and heads in to protect Tubbs. She kills Wolf, but is taken hostage by Calderon. Alicia fights him off, and Tubbs shoots and kills Calderon. I appreciate that Miami Vice tried to do something different with this episode. It doesn't work, but I appreciate the effort. This is essentially a pared-down western, with a lone hero waiting for a climactic showdown with a dangerous foe. The only problem with that is this episode ends up with some pacing issues. Calderon doesn't even arrive on the island until the final eight minutes of the episode, which doesn't give him enough time to make a big impression. The episode does an okay job of building suspense while Tubbs and Alicia wait for Calderon to arrive, but it's not quite enough. And it's a bit of a waste of John Leguizamo, who is a talented and charismatic performer, but simply doesn't get enough to do. The Calderon saga has been pretty integral to Miami Vice since the pilot episode, and it comes to an anticlimactic end with Orlando Calderon's death. My gut says this is a two Flamingo episode, but I appreciate that the series tried to do something a little out of the ordinary, and I'm always happy when Miami Vice lets Tubbs take center stage for a bit, so I'm giving this one three Flamingos. Next time, a clever yet paranoid surveillance expert plays games with Crockett and Tubbs. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you back here then.